What's up, Chow Chin Chows? Lantern Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Crystal Clear Nuzlocke. I'm back on Cycling Road, struggling to try and keep up this downhill incline uh, because I want to get an encounter here. I've set the clock to night time. Hopefully, this will help me get an encounter and hope we won't let me run into Feroes. We will see. Let's see. That's a Grimer. That's still dupes. God damn it. I thought sending the clocks would help with this. Not so much, so. We'll keep trying. We'll give this another f we'll give this another couple of runs and see what happens. Because I'm still thinking there might be something here for us. Unless Grimer is the thing you run into at night, whereas uh you know. Fero is the thing you run into in the day. I mean, can I please find something? Come on, game. I want the Houndoom. Houndooms are usually here. In gold, silver, and crystal, they're here. I think. But not so much. This is just Grimer. Just Grimer. God damn it. And Grimer is dupes. And so is Fero. Well, you can't say I didn't try. I'll give us two more encounters. Let's say two more encounters. And then we'll head back to face Janine. So, um, in today's episode, we're going to face Janine. We're going to take on the gym leader. And we're going to get our 15th gym badge. We're almost at the end of gym badge collecting. But we are still got quite a bit to do in this game. Because I still want to figure out a couple of things. And find out about a few things. And see... What's hiding behind every nook and cranny that this game has to offer. And see what I can get myself. One more time. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. No. All I found here was Grimers. Damn. Well, that was a train wreck. And you can't get off your bike here, so you can't fish. So that was a dread... I mean, can I surf? No, no, no. No, I can't get off my bike, so how would I be able to surf? Yeah, can't get off my bike, so I can't surf either. So, yeah, nothing. That's annoying. Never mind, eh? So, in today's episode, we're going to take on Janine. I will give give you guys a team preview once we've healed. And uh, we'll talk about a few things. We'll mainly talk about the fact that I got a new t-shirt, which I really love. Thanks to uh, Original151, Vinny, for this shirt. It's, it's amazing. I bought one of his shirts, and it's got a lantern on it. So, you know, lantern merch is always going to be a thing I buy. Always. Doesn't matter if it's your lantern or my lanterns, I will always buy a lantern shirt. Anyway, so we have Celery here, level 69, uh, Psychic, uh, Leech Seed, uh, Giga Drain, and Shadow Ball. Then we have Dancing Our Electabuzz, level 70, with Thunderbolt, Ice Punch, Fire Punch, and Thief. Then we have Hardy, our uh, Butterfree, level 68, with Psychic, Psybeam, Sleep Powder, and Nightmare. Then we have Blue JR Politoed, level 68, holding Mystic Water to boost those water type moves. Also has the moves Surf, Lovely Kiss, Earthquake, and Ice Beam. Then we have Spirit Arpeggiot, with the moves Wing Attack, Sand Attack, Tackle, and Fly. Then we have Magic or Dragonair, a Dragon Knight, sorry, Magic or Dragon Knight. Level 68 with Surf, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Outrage. That is the team. Let's go and get ourselves a gym badge. That is the plan. Just get in there. Hey, Clyde. Yo, champ in the making. Whoops. Uh, take a good look around. The trainers here look like the gym leader, Janine. Which of them is the real Janine, though? I can't tell you. You'll have to find out. All right. Every one of them looks like Janine. You're not Janine. Or are you Janine? 
No, 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 you're not Janine. You're just a picnicker. Go away, picnicker. You're not Janine. Although you do have a Nido Queen at level 69. That's actually kind of scary. You know, I mean, I'm going to be running into situations where I think this gym actually might put me through my paces here because I'm not a... I mean, I do have things against poison types, but, you know, it's a bit harder to deal with them. Because I don't really have, like, a soup I don't have a resistant typing. I just have, like, super effective moves. And those super effective moves, depending on the Pokemon, are either stab or not stab, so... Oh my god, he used Explosion! Well, that happened! Why? Hardy! Why? Why? It counts, ladies and gentlemen. And Stab would have killed if it was Stab. It would have killed! But it lived on like 1 HP and decided to go boom and take me down with it. Well, I said it was going to happen. I said I didn't really have an answer for poison types. <gasps> You know, Celebi's going to have to solo the gym. I'm still going to bring Hardy out as my catcher. Like, that is not... That is not changing. That is a thing that is staying around. Hardy will stay my catcher throughout the entire adventure. Because Nightmare and Sleep Powder, I will keep Hardy for the Nightmare and Sleep Powder. But since I don't really know what to do with my team now, I don't really know. Like, I've got water types. I don't need you. I don't... I mean, you might not be horrible, Friv. Uh, Mark could be okay, I guess. Could go with... I don't... Punch, maybe? Uh, box two, we have... New more of a replacement just in case I lose dancing. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, no, no. Possibilities, Cody. Uh no, no maybe angry, I don't know. Um Queen Boo is a possibility. We could go with a ghost type. Um, no, 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 maybe, ah, uh, don't know, a steel type wouldn't be horrible, but no, uh, steel electric, I don't really need it, that's toxic, there's a grimer, I mean, that's okay, I guess, again, gas ball, wheezing, you're not fairy type yet, so Granville could be okay, you could be okay, I guess, and maybe Newcastle. But I use you a lot. Vice uh, could be interesting. Um, no, no, no. Yeah, for the moment in time, I'm just going to go with five Pokemon. But I don't know. I don't know what my next I don't know what the next team mean each is going to be and I don't really you know I don't really care at this moment in time. Eventually I will figure out what my next teammate is going to be. But for the moment in time I think I'm okay with five pokemon and we'll just keep going with five pokemon. I just got unlucky that's all it was. I got very very unlucky.
So I, I can't really say that it's my fault. Or anything like that, so... Yeah. It just happens. So, you know. Nothing I could do about it. It just lived. And when it shouldn't have lived. But I'm going to keep trying and we'll see what happens. And we'll probably... I mean, I don't know. I don't really know what my next Pokemon is going to be. If I caught that, like... I think I pretty much know what my next Pokemon was if I had if I'd run into a Houndoom on the on Cycling Road. If I'd run into a Houndoom on Cycling Road, I would pretty much know what my next encounter, uh, what my next teammate would be. It would be the Houndoom or Minkargo. But we didn't run into those Pokemon, so I can't say that. Uh, they're just going to be my next Pokemon because the fact is, well, I didn't run into them. As much as I wanted to run into them, I didn't run into them. So I can't really do anything about that. We'll uh, keep beating these gym lead. We'll keep beating these trainers and figure out this for myself. I'll, I'll probably end up picking someone off up, up screen, off screen, and. Uh, See what happens. There will be an answer though. I'm just a bit upset now. Because like that happened. And I don't really need a new water type, so I can't bring things like there's certain thing There's certain things I can't bring back, uh, uh, bring onto the team because I don't need them. Like I can't bring a new water type onto the team because I don't need it. Maybe, maybe Queen Boo is the best one to go with here. Yeah, maybe Ghastly would be the best thing to go for here. Because if I could have a Gengar by next episode. Oh, you, you, oh, you really are, Janine. I've actually found her, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't mean to, but I found her. <laughs> I'm Janine of Fuchsia. I'm Janine of Fuchsia C. That's me. Damn it. I found her. I didn't mean to find her this quickly. I meant to face the other girl first and then heal before facing her. But, you know, it happens. All right, dancing, I believe, I believe in you. I have faith in you. Come on, dancing, you can do this. No, dancing! This is not the time for you to hit yourself. This is the time for you to kick ass. There we go. Now kick ass. Oh, boo yeah. One down, five to go. Where you go next? Muck. Um... I'm going to use Blue Jay here. Oh, earthquake. Got a lovely kiss first. Though. Oh, I didn't lovely kiss. I, the first time I missed my lovely kiss. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta keep an eye on that poison. Because otherwise, uh Blue Jay's gonna die in eight turns. So I got full restore. Sometime soon, so. We'll see what happens. But two earthquake should kill. 
can't play those games we're wheezing now. Ariados. That's spirit. Because that's a bug type still. It's bug and poison, so spirit. Fly, my pretty! I mean, you would have just locked me in. That's perfectly fine, because you will die. And... A tentacruel. Um, dancing. I know they're beefy. But I don't really have anything else other than dancing for them, so... Let's do it. Let's do it, dancing. Oh my god, he lived on 1 HP. He set up a barrier. He boosted his defense. And you don't decide to heal. Now that's your idea, you see, not mine. Venomoth. I could probably stay on on that. Fire Punch. Because you are bug and poison type. Not bug and psychic. And it just works. Oh yes, I didn't. I mi you missed. You missed your sleep powder. And the ace is down. Final Pokemon is a Gengar. Well, we have experience in that market. And again, Celebi is the guy or girl. Depending what you define Celebi as. Time Lord, go! Beautiful! No worries. No worries at all. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's your soul badge. Take it. You're really tough. I had a special gift for you. It's toxic. A powerful poison type move that steadily zaps the victim's HP. To you, O6, toxic! I'm going to be. I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than my father and you. Sadly, I can't face her now. But I've already beat the gym leader. Come on, Blue Jay. Let's get you to a hospital. You will not die today. Sorry, Blue Jay. I've got to go and take this phone call. <laughs> Hello, it's the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations on completing yet another gym challenge. We've updated you. Collect your account. You have 15 badges. Meet with the... Uh, uh, Yes, I know about the event move tutors. I know about the event move tutor. I don't care. Right. So now what? All nicely healed. A lot quicker than usual. We've got our badge. I still haven't really decided on what Pokemon I'm going to bring onto the team to replace Party. Um, I think my best option would be uh, would be uh, Queen Boo.
Yeah, I think my best option would be Queen Boo. But I'm not exactly 100% behind that option. I'd much rather go for a fire type, but I don't really have I don't have one. I've gone like literally the entire game without getting a fire type. Well, I'm not putting Queen Boo... Like, Queen Boo will not be on the team until it's a Gengar. So it's not going to be on the team sheet until it's a Gengar. Right after I got my fifth badge, I saw a beautiful Pokemon go inside of one of the Seafoam Islands. I wonder if it only appears to good trainers. I really wish I could go fishing in Seafoam Islands. They say there's some great fish in those caves. Well, that's where we're going next episode. But we're going to get there today. That is the plan. Well, you're damn near out of luck, mate, because I'm going to kick your ass right towards the end of your triathlon. And then you'll drown. Oh, you got a cloister. That's something Time Lord can't take out. Well, would struggle with. Uh, but we can handle this. Dancing can handle this. It might be an idea. And I just got the lucky egg in the last episode. And I got also got a... Uh, ex I've also got an experience share. So those are things that I could possibly give out to, uh, to Queen Boo to make it usable on the team a lot sooner than... An you know, it would be, but we'll see. I don't think I need to grind everyone else up. Maybe... Okay, so my encounter for round number 19 is... A... It's not that. I have that. Yeah, let me go and get my experience share out of the piece. Let's see. Let's go into Joanne's PC. And withdraw an item. There we go. And let's give the experience share. To Queen B. Yeah, to Queen Boo. And see what happens. Eventually, Queen Boo might be useful. We'll see. But for the moment in time, let's try and get to the Seafoam Islands. Round two. Nope, still tentacruel. Still a tentacruel. Not useful to me, and I can't do anything with that. Let's put on repels. And maybe we should put dancing at the front of the party. So, so he can handle itself too. We'll see. We're going to try and make it to uh, Sifo Islands before the end of today's episode. I don't know how well it's going to go, especially if they have a lot of Pokemon and teams. <gasps> but we'll see. Destroy it. 
Destroy it. Beautiful. And Queen Boo goes to level 11. Queen Boo in spite. Uh, let's put dancing out. Uh, switch to dancing now. Because that's a tentacle. Level 47? Why is this still a tentacle? I mean, even a tentacle would struggle against me, but the fact is, still, why is this a tentacle? Cool, and not a tentacruel. Level 13. M mean look. You still have another tentacruel. Which is fine for a dancing to take out. There we go. It's dead. Dancing goes to level 71. Queen Boo is level 14. And a Sea King. I can say it on that. And... The Thunderbolt should kill. I should probably give him Thunder Punch as well. I don't know though. I mean, Thunderbolt does enough damage, and I don't really know when we're going to be in a situation where I'd still need to use that. No, I don't want to learn Curse. And I'm a Ghost type. Ghost Curse is bad on me. Like, Curse is actually good on other Pokemon. I mean, all I'm doing is lowering my speed to up my defense. Uh, with, uh... Yeah, I'm lowering my speed to up my defense with normal Curse. But with, uh, but with ghost type curse, I'm halving my HP to give you toxic damage, which is kind of dangerous. Unless I can find a way of healing that HP back. And if I can't, I'm pretty much dead. So it's not great. Look, we're already level 17 already. Which means that Queen Boo might be able to handle herself against the gym leader rematches. Depending on which gym leaders we go against. But we'll see. And you have a Stormy. I can handle that. Shadow Ball. And a possibly another Stormy. Level 18 for Queen Boo. And another Stormy. Again, another Shadow Ball. Another Death. If we can get a Haunter before the end of this uh, episode, that'd be great. Level 20. We're so close. <laughs> right. Here is Sifo Myelands. Can I just go round? Wait a minute. I'm in here. This is Cinnabar. This is new Cinnabar. I didn't realize it's just up. I'm actually here. You sell me mail. I don't want this. None of this. Go away. Go away with your mail.
Okay. This is this is the bar research lab. Okay. There's a security guard. Well, Joanne, I uh, we have an assistant crash about 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. I guess it's just one of those days. We're having some problems down in our fossil lab, but I think that's all sorted out. Why don't you go down there and check it out? All right. Hey, scientist. I don't really, uh, actu I don't actually live here on the island. I ride Pokemon using Surf, so I can cross the water and pass through Cinnabar Tunnel every day. It's quite a long commute, but I uh, get to see a lot of things. Good for you, scientist. Hello, I'm Ivan. Scientist uh, friends hire Ivan to do work at Cinnabar Island Lab. Uh, to make uh, fossils for research. Ivan is uh, uh, from far away land. What is your name? Friend Joanne? Uh, please uh, of letting uh, Ivan know uh, are there needing of any help with fossils? There are. Friend Joanne. Yes, I would like to help with some fossils. I uh, Yes, Helix Fossil. And we've registered our phone number. we got Ivan's phone number. Go for a long walk. He means... Is go and walk out the lab and walk back in, but... I'll do that in a minute. It's true. My grandfather was a scientist at the old Cinnabar lab. He told me stories about a great Dr. Fuji and his many adventures on the islands far away. Of course, those could have just been tall tales. There's no record of any Dr. Fuji of having worked here. We didn't lose our records when we the island erupted. So either the guy is made up or somebody's edited the lab uh, records I don't know that uh, a lot of people old stuff from that same time I'm not sure what to think most of the stuff here is new scientists bounce from lab to lab they need equipment uh, on the plus side, it also helps spread information very fast. Okay. Cool. Right. I've gone on my very long walk. It was like five seconds. Ivan, you done? Oh, you need more time. It's not a case of just walking around in these games. It's not a case of just walking around. It's actually doing stuff. It's a broken sort of machine. Looks like something engraved in it. El Great Anonymous. It's hard to make out the text, it used to say. It's either a sink or a photocop. It's, that's a sink. And then the other one's a photo, the actual, this one here is a photocopier. So is Pallet Town out this way? Well, no, that's 
the rest of Cinnabar Island. Okay, so my encounter for Cinnabar, new Cinnabar is a... No, it's not that. God damn it. <laughs> I guess it's all you can find here in the water. Right, let's repel up. And see if we can f find our way back to Pallet Town. Oh! There it is, that's Pallet Town. And there's Route 21. Can we find the old Cinnabar Island? Here it is! Old Cinnabar! And of course, new Cinnabar doesn't have a Pokemon Center, so old Cinnabar has the Pokemon Center. I was gonna go around Seafoam Islands, but I found old I found new Cinnabar and old Cinnabar! Cool. Hello. It's been a while since the volcano erupted. Hello. Cinnabar as uh Jim Lee Cinnabar's Jim's Blaine apparently lived alone in the Seafoam Islands cave. I'm glad he come that he's uh living on New Cin New Island now. How did they make a new island? Cinnabar Island used to be filled full of research and sci researchers and scientists from all over. Everything changed when the volcano erupted. What's left of the buildings was torn down. A Pokemon Center was built, and a Pokemon Center was built. Rumor has it that a very powerful Pokemon was born here, but I think all kinds of equipment and records uh, were lost from in the eruption. It's probably best, but it stays that way. Yeah, you're probably right there, mate. Although there is a cave here. There's a notice here. New Cinnabar Island is located to the end of the Cinnabar Tunnel, Blaine. Cinnabar Tunnel, eh? Um, I found the old mansion. And in the next episode, we will continue on exploring new Cinnabar and old Cinnabar at the same time. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean de la Pokemon get to Laza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night! Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos, and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, from me, Joe, and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.